Hello everybody, Montrez Harrell, LA Clippers. Let's take a sneak peek in my collection. Everybody has something that, you know, they kind of, it draws to them, you know, something that they like to do. Mine's is shoes, and I like animation type stuff, cartoons. I'm big on a lot of cartoons that I watched growing up as a kid, Rugrats, Boondocks. For me to just be able to actually get those on a pair of shoes and actually be able to put them on court and be able to do them in my job and something that I love to do and actually, you know, broadcast and, you know, still reminisce on the things that I've, you know, watched growing up, it, it's, it, it's definitely special. Kicks Predominance, he did these, you know, he basically just said, well, how would I feel about going each shoe the team color? And I was like, you know, what you mean? You know, he was like, like, you, you'll see it, bro. Like, I really think you'll like it, you know? And then he told me that he was gonna use the um, the Simpsons theme. These are probably another one that I probably won't run back. There's another cartoon edition. The cartoons that I watched, Growing Up, SpongeBob, Johnny Bravo, Hey Arnold, uh, Dexter's Laboratory, Curse the Cowardly Dog, The Maniacs. It's another pair I haven't put out yet. OVO. For a lot of you kids out here don't know what the show is, it's Proud Family. He got another pair of customs that I haven't even put on the court yet. Y'all are the first ones to get to see this, so you know, take full advantage of it. Got Biggie on one side, Tupac on the other. Sometimes they have ideas that they're shooting to me, um, but you know, majority of the time I kind of go to them with the idea or uh, basically just the theme itself, and I just let them kind of design it from there. These I actually have played in. My coach, Sam Cassell, actually came up with it, and he said it's a guy that he knew in Baltimore that was like kind of my height. He said they used to always call him the milkman. And I was like, uh, what, what was that, you know, what was the story behind that? He was like, because, you know, whenever we played pickup or we ran with him, you know, he always delivered. I hoop in everything, like, and the thing about it is I do it in like both halves. Like I like whatever shoe I have on that first half, I won't have it in the second half. So everything I have down here is basically uh, shoes that I kind of have hooped in over a couple of years or I'm thinking about hooping in. I kept up on these in college and I never wore them ever until last year. Came up on the off-whites. I definitely enjoy hooping in them, I definitely was fun. It's by far the, the, the best KD, the KD4. I got the Galaxy ones here. I got the gold metal ones here. I got the pennies right here, uh, Galaxy. Um, the Josh Howards. I haven't played in these this season. I did probably like two seasons ago though. One, one favorite I do have that nobody would, would guess uh, that I definitely like to put on hooping a lot is uh, the Iverson. I got some custom versions of those. Iverson questions and answers. Uh, I got like a Supreme pair of them. Uh, and a Louis Vuitton pair is definitely gonna be. Can't wait to put those out as well. So, you know, I, I definitely got some, some gems for this year. Reebok definitely has shown me love recently. These are here I had not never seen until they sent me. So it's definitely gonna be something I'm gonna put on court. These are another ones. It's the one he did with Cameron. So it's like different, you know, that's what I like about it. The Bruce Lee, the back part, the heel. If I can get it out of here, the sole. So that's sad. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to actually have a coach to have his own shoe. <laughs> D Brown had his own shoe, the pumps, and we ended up working out a deal on them, you know. So I got like a, a shoe bag of uh, the D Brown pumps, you know, that's what all of these are right here. I uh, played in these recently already. But D Brown has a dope shoe for real. So once again, these are all shoes that, you know, nobody has seen but uh, me and the person that made them. Uh, these are actually the Fruity Pebble ones that we came up with. I'm sure everybody know what those are. Frosted Flakes. And uh, we did a Reese's Puff. I got a couple more that's still coming in, but I was the first ones to ever seen these. I haven't put them out yet, but can't wait to hoop in those as well. Yeah, so, you know, this is one room that I have, um, but, you know, the best part about it is it's not over. Um, I actually have another room upstairs, so let's go upstairs and check that one out. Still have a couple things up here that I'm going to actually play in this year. Uh, majority of the room is more so my collection in general. 
um, just from over the years. Uh, I actually started as a freshman in college and it's been collecting since then, pretty much. I told him to put, uh, you know, I play for the Clippers. Um, I live in LA. I'm uh, big with uh, music and stuff like that. So, you know, I had them put uh, something special in there for me. Uh, kind of, you know, something that I love. You know, for a lot of people that don't know, Tupac made a song about LA. It's called The Live and Die in LA. I definitely feel like I should show you guys one of my big off the court shoe um, that I'm definitely uh, going to be wearing here soon. Uh, I may pull out a pair tomorrow since we're in this. Uh, conversation and that's going to be the Monarchs, you know, that's definitely going to be a shoe I feel that's going to take over uh, off the court. Remember, I'm the first one that told you that. Bruce Lee edition. I actually got this the concept from uh, the Kobe's when they did those. Everybody remember the what the LeBron's? So she actually did the concept on the Monarch for me. Go another pair. Boondocks. Riley Huey. Like I said, another cartoon that I grew up on was the Rugrats. Anybody that watched the Rugrats, you remember Tommy had a best friend. Best friend was Chucky, Chucky Finster. She did her thing with these, actually adding the hair onto the shoe. I'm pretty sure everybody, you know, majority of everybody seen the movie Toy Story. The original, like, like if you had this shoe, like it was like, like you knew shoes, <laughs> like you knew shoes, you know? Unfortunately, to put mines out there. This is a big shoe, Rising Sun 12. You know, but try to push mine to the max and blow out. By the way, I definitely love hooping in these shoes. This is definitely a comfortable hooping shoe. And the shoe that I feel that was probably the most noticeable with my teammates was either the the off whites or when I whenever I come in at any ones. I also hooped in those as well, the off-white ones. They, everybody's always like, you know, how you do it? Like, how your feet be able to do it? They're so flat, they're so, I'm like, bro, like, I've been doing this for a while, man. So, like, and what I got to understand is, like, I can change my soul, you feel me? So, like, I got a soul, like, I can either leave the original soul that's in it if it's not a problem, like, if it's not too low, but I can also take that soul out and put a uh, soul that actually has, like, a little bit of lift, like, in it for my, uh, uh, cushion for my Achilles. Some of my favorites that I love to collect and go after, though, that, a lot of people slept on are these bad boys right here. 21s. I done hooped in uh, a couple of them here recently. I had the all black ones on with the white lining. Um, I had the, uh, I want to say I had the Chicago ones that, uh, these right here, I actually got two pair on. So these are just the pair that I wear. I definitely think there is a shoe out there that I have been trying to find that's one of the craziest shoes. That's gonna be the Air Mat, the shoe, uh, McFly, and the uh, Fruity Pebble LeBron 4s. There's a lot of people out here that's doing things with their sneakers, so I feel like uh, a couple of people that you really have to look forward to when it comes to watching sneakers on the court are guys like uh, PJ Tucker, uh, just because of the things that he puts on court. I don't agree with all the times, but. My guy uh, from the Hawks, Torian, he's definitely starting to uh, come out with some stuff. Um, I told him you better slow down though, it's early in the year. You, you're bringing out a lot right now for the, the, the first couple of games of the season. Long 82. Kyrie, just in general, you know, his shoe, you never know what he's going to come out there with. Uh, he's coming up with different themes of shoes, seems like every other day, you know, so he's definitely another guy that you have to really pay attention to. Langston got away, way, because uh, he got his own, uh, I guess it's like his own shoe with uh, the Q4. But he does a lot of uh, customization, like he does uh, like a lot of different cartoons and stuff like that. And it's a lot of cartoons that, like I said, I grew up on watching. He had a Courage the Cowardly Dog one, I think he had a Rocket Power one, you know. So he's definitely another guy, um, definitely when it comes to customization. And uh, Spencer uh, Dinwiddie does too. Uh, I think he actually has his own shoot. Um, but he uh, actually does, um, actually when it comes to like customization and stuff like that, he had a pair of uh, Colin Kaepernick was on like the other day, you know, so there's just a couple of guys right there uh, off ripping the NBA who, uh, you know, just do their thing when it comes to shoes and just put them on the court. Thank you guys for coming out here with me today and uh, stay tuned. Definitely this is not it though.